Hello YouTube and uh, welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to download the SDK platform tools. Uh, this one uh, is the updated version. I realized that um, I had done a video and uh, now uh, Google um, posted a new uh, link in which uh, makes it a lot easier to uh, download and extract just the, um, the SDK tools. And so here we go. Uh, it's kind of similar to the other video, but uh, in case you um, stumble upon this video, um, I'm going to uh, do it from the beginning. So the first thing is to make sure you have the um, the Java JDK installed. So go to the terminal um, by pressing a Windows key and the letter R, CMD, and uh, do Java minus version. And make sure you have uh, Java JDK installed and uh, hopefully you have the latest version. If that's not the case, uh, go to the Oracle website and download the uh, SDK, the SDK tools, if I can, okay. If I um, download the SDK tool, I'm, I'm sorry, download the um, the Java JDK, and so I set the license agreement and um, choose the, um, the executable matching the version of Windows that you're running. And so download that and install. After that, um, head over to the, um, To the developer Android Google site, um, and so in this. By the way, I'm going to provide this link uh, in, down in the description. Um, download the SDK platform tools for Android. So I've already downloaded, so I have it in my um, downloads directory. And so there's nothing to it. I mean, the only difference is the link and the fact that. Um, all the tools, um, you can extract all the tools instead of uh, downloading them from, uh, instead of running uh, an executable or some other program that will download the tool. So this one, uh, it would actually extract the tools into your um, into your computer. So this is the one, uh, the zip file says platform dash tools dot latest dash window dot zip. So right click on it. Click on Extract All, and I'm going to put it under my user directory, and I'm going to click Extract. I'm going to pause for a second. Okay, so once the download is done, um, browse to the directory, and as you can see now, it contains the ADB, Fastboot, and uh, SQLite, and all the goodies. So that's it, that's pretty much it. Actually, no, that, that is not it. There is one more step. Uh, the next step is to uh, click on the uh, Windows uh, File Manager um, uh, search bar, wrap address bar, and uh, um, copy the address of the, uh, of, the, of the tool, so the platform tools. And then go to, uh, right click on the start menu, and then go to system. And then once in system, click on system info and uh, click on advanced system settings. Click on environment variables and then click on path and then click on new. Actually, actually click on path and then click on edit. I'm sorry. And then once you're in there, click on new and uh, paste the, um, the path in here. And so click OK, click OK, OK, and that's it. So from now on, you should be able to, um, to run ADB from anywhere inside your, um, inside your uh, tree directory. OK, so uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.